Principal of the Training College, Viola Rowe, says the institution currently has 22 trainee teachers who are specialized in the science field. However, she believes the deplorable condition of the laboratory has deterred more persons from furthering their studies in that area, thereby limiting the number of science teachers in schools. Over the past five years, we have struggled somewhat uh, with finding resources, chemicals, for the delivery, the effective delivery of the science program. The grant from the Chinese government, which amounted to some 48 million Ghana dollars, was realized by a Memorandum of Understanding, which was signed on Wednesday by Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Education, Vibert Welch, and charged the affairs of the Chinese Embassy. The items which the college plans to purchase for Science Laboratory include a list of chemicals, cell structure resource pack, functional heart and microscience kits, among others. The principal explained that the microscience kits will serve not only the Turkine location of the college, but other locations across the country. We have a number of centers spread across Guyana. In fact, we have at least one teacher training center providing some program or the other, at least one program in every administration, administrative region of this country. And in order for us to really improve what we're doing there, the microscience kits will go forward because they are individual lab, uh, small labs, like portable labs. And we're going to be procuring enough for all our teachers all across the country to have access. The ministry's permanent secretary noted that the initiative looks beyond the teachers to the students which will be benefited in the long term. Meanwhile, the Chinese embassy's charge the affairs explained that the implementation process will be monitored by the Chinese embassy and the Ministry of Education. He acknowledged the lasting bilateral relationship between Ghana and China, especially in the area of education. Bibi Katun, Newsroom.